Yeah. Which is really simple. Yeah. Rush hour. Excuse me. Yeah. On a COE channel. Yeah. On February 22nd. 20th. Yeah. On a COE channel. On February 20th. I make a statement. I shot Rush Hour 4 in Speaker's Corner with Gary, a black guy. I'm yellow, a black guy. I shot Rush Hour 4 with him in Speaker's Corner on February 20th. And on 22nd, Chris Tucker, the real actor in Rush Hour 4 movie, confirmed Rush Hour and they call it the Rush of All Rushes. <laughs> prophecy, pro my prophecy fulfilled. It's real. The Messiah. Can you do the same? <laughs> Try to make a statement, and within two days, something happened. You can't, right? This is real shit, and this is just the beginning. Yeah. And look at it. When when we shot Rush Hour Four in in Speaker's Corner, I wore red color. That's Gary. And Gary, this is Gary. He wore black color. This is when we shot Rush Hour Four. See, see what happened. <laughs> Jackie Chan wore red. Chris Tucker wore, 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 I mean Jackie Chan wore black and Chris Tucker wore red. We flip, we swap. The, the shirt swap. It means Gary is become has become Jackie Chan, and I, I have become Chris Tucker. So yes, it's a miracle. Gary Chan, Tan Tucker. I will roll reverse. Yeah, I will roll reverse. And that's why, that's why Gary is the one that went and challenged Muhammad Hijab for MMA. Because he is Jackie Chan, he knows martial arts. I'm just Chris Tucker, just making, talking, making comedy. I'm just a comedian. Hmm? You will win that match between Hijab and uh, Gary. That's gonna come in a while. Oh, it's right? gonna come. Yeah? So, and then when, when Gary Chan, Gary the Jackie Chan, challenged Muhammad Hijab at 8 minutes 27 seconds he mentioned he asked Muhammad Hijab have you watched Bruce Lee Game of Death why did he ask that because in Bruce Lee Game of Death the movie Bruce Lee defeated a Muslim Abdul Jamal Jabal who is very tall yeah very tall just like Muhammad Hijab look at that look exactly like Muhammad Hijab yes it's a miracle and guess what I am the Bruce Lee. Since day one, I have been called Bruce Lee. Just go YouTube, Bruce Lee Tan, Speaker's Corner, you can find me. And it's not bullshit. I defeated Muhammad Hijab in a debate. Yeah? I'm not talking about martial arts, I'm talking about debate. Philosophy debate. Yeah? Metaphorically speaking. I defeated him. Look at this view on the Muslim channel. I think today is about 160k. And he watched, I make a fool out of Muhammad Hijab. And he even admitted on the camera saying, yeah, yeah, he lost. He admitted that. It's a miracle. Yeah, and look at what happened now. Since then, he never come here to debate anymore. Yeah. He just came here wearing with that with that, with that um, mouthpiece, like what, like, like some kind of idiot. Why do you wear MM, uh, MM, uh, UFC mouthpiece coming here, like to a speaker's corner? Yeah, it's like wearing a sexy uh, lingerie and come, coming here to speaker's corner for what? Yeah. You see, he's like acting like a circus. Just two or three weeks ago, during the Tommy incident, look what he's doing in speaker's corner. Are they performing? Is it a show? What are they doing? Is 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 no? He be, Muhammad Hijab has become irre irrelevant. Okay, look at that! I look, here. look at that! He's like a baby. He's acting like a baby. That 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 this guy, I call him babysitter, uh, Rashid Anand, has to pull him away, and then he's like, uh, like he's so childish. Look at him. He has lost it. He's, he has lost it. Look at that. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Go watch the video. It's on COE. He's just make a fool out of himself now. He can no longer debate. He Muhammad Hijab has become irrelevant. He's an MMA fighter. Yeah. And do you know why? Because there was this Bruce Lee lookalike in Afghanistan. Yeah, I know him. I yeah, you know him, right? I watch it yeah. If you go watch the interview, the documentary, Bruce Lee are hated by the Islamic <laughs> fundamentalists. I know that. Yeah. But look here. It's on RT channel. I watch it. I watch it. Most Bruce Lee hated by Islamic <laughs> fundamentalists. You see. Can you tell the difference? They look, uh, yeah, I know. look I the same, it. right? It's it's remarkable. Remarkable. Oh, wow. Yeah. What does it mean? Yeah. Why, it's a miracle. why is that a Bruce Lee in Afghanistan? Because Afghanistan we used to be a Buddhist country. Yeah. And that shows reincarnation is real. Reincarnation is confirmed. Oh. Bruce Lee reincarnated in Afghanistan. This is not bullshit. Yeah, I understand. I watch it what are the chances of Bruce Lee happening in, in a country who, which used to be Buddhist? See, this is real prophecy. It's trying to send a message saying Islam is false. 
Buddhism, come to Buddhism. Reincarnation is confirmed. Yeah? And Dalai Lama is very happy. So look. Yeah. And Dalai Lama is very happy. <laughs> yeah? He's very happy. Buddhism is bouncing back. Whoa. Oh. What did I just use? Someone just asked me. Would I use the word nigger? I use it here. Does the Buddha not have the nigger hair? I don't have this kind of hair. I don't know Indian don't have I don't think Indian has this kind of hair. No, no. And if you watch the the the, the, the uh, Somalian corner, that Muslim I, I think he called himself fisherman, is a, a key and wanna be. He said black is like gold, black skin is like gold. He's promoting Buddhism for me. Gold. Nigger head. I'm calling Buddha my nigger. And I'm saying it out loud. That's why I say, you wanna call me racist, you wanna report the police? Go ahead. But come down until I refuse all four prophecy. It's gonna get real. Yeah? And this is a message to the black community, it's like if you keep bouncing around this Abraham religion, why not try something different? Who is black? So, so we all think Buddha is black. Buddha, Buddha. Buddha. He is black. Look at the hair, man. I don't have this kind of hair. This is in China. I don't have this kind of hair. Look at that. Yeah? My nigger. <laughs> and this is the final. You might want to say, uh, Buddha is my nigger. Doesn't matter. Like I can say, calm down. You want to report to the police? No, do it after. No, 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 no. Yeah? I'm just saying, this is the final of, of the um, rush hour prophecy. The world is not only for Muslims. Get the message? Look at the, all this prophecy. It's not by chance. And this is just the beginning. Yeah. That's okay. the end of rush hour prophecy. You you call it prophecy. Now who you know when you prophesy something, that means someone told you to say this a hidden thing and it's come to pass, isn't it? Yeah. Who told you this Revelation, book? revelation. I am the prophet. Yeah, that Limano, to you. yeah, whatever. Who revealed that to you? I won't tell you man. Ah, okay. I am the prophet. Okay. If I if I tell everything, I lose my no, business, no, man. No, no, who? 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 Who revealed that? Prophet, prophet. I am the prophet. You are the prophet. I am the prophet. Who revealed to the you to every god? Okay. Yeah? Okay, okay. So are you ready for I, I for wanna, I wanna talk about uh, Brosley because I watched that. I was so surprised. I watched it the whole yeah. series. Even some Muslims they don't uh, like uh, imams, they talk about he is not allowed in Islam. I watched it and I was so impressed. The, 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 he looks like okay. Brosley. But I want to know, do you think uh, Reincarnation is real. Okay. Question Q and A can come after after I finish all my prophecy. Come prophecy. later, yeah? We Maybe we can do it in the jail. Second prophecy. Yeah, we can do it in the police station, yeah? You you will. I think Trust you me. Finished. Shit is gonna get no real. Problem. I thought you finished. Sorry. So the second prophecy oh. is revolution. Right. Revolution. By Snoop Dogg. Everyone here knows Snoop Dogg. Everyone knows him. They have a song name called Snoop Dogg. Uh, revolution featuring October London. Snoop Dogg, Revolution, featuring October London. October London. And this is my passport. What did you say? I come to United Kingdom October, so. in October. Oh, where is it? I was in Japan in September, and then I came to United Kingdom in October. I entered through the Luton Airport. That's not just. That's not it. And in October, there was this movie by Jackie Chan called The Foreigner. He's just one man, a film, one man in United Kingdom fighting terrorism. Jackie Chan, one man, yes, fighting terrorism. <laughs> and go to YouTube now and, and Google Jackie Chan. What other chance? There are actually people making. There are people making music video of Jackie Tan. What are the chances? Do you have Jackie T, Jackie Ta, y Jackie Tan. Yeah, Y Tan? And this is not in. The, this is a long time before. Oh, yeah, Jackie, yeah? Jackie Tan. Oh, is that the name of the movie? No, someone made a. Oh, that made it's it. It's a hip hop. Yeah. That's why I say you can research this. You can go YouTube and you will find this. So are you Jackie Tan? I am Jackie Tan. I am Jackie Tan. People have been calling calling me that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And guess what? Two weeks ago, when I say I will announce my prophecy, when I say I will announce my prophecy, 
Snoop Dogg lookalike appear in that video? There's a Snoop Dogg lookalike. The, when I say I will announce prophecy, I say I, will, I know I'm going to die. Snoop Dogg appear in the crowd. What are the chances? He is a regular here. He always come here. I always saw him, but I never talked to him. There is a Snoop Dogg lookalike. When I say I will announce my prophecy, Snoop Dogg appear. How do you explain that? Yeah. When you say you're going to announce a prophecy, uh, is someone like, going to appear? No, right? So why, why do you think that? No, so, so, no, doesn't matter. Okay. I'm just saying, what are the chances? Yeah, yeah. This is not coincidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a real prophecy. Yeah? And now back to that music video. Yeah? Back to that music video. <laughs> by, by Snoop Dogg Revolution. He's trying to talk about the, the social, uh, he's trying to comment on the social world that we are in right now. He's saying that um, it's easy to com complain about the police and so on. But in that music video, he tried to highlight the real problem faced by the black community, like, like, like women, like single mother. Go watch the video. That's what I'm saying. This is a real thing you can research yourself. Or like missing father. It's all in the video. And then, talk about Muslim. They talk about Islam. Useless, useless religion, useless man. Who? No. Because he showed he showed a video. The man keep stay always in the mosque, and then the woman are left alone, oppressed. In the video, I said this is just the beginning. We have no, we have not even get to the real shit. Oppressed woman. That's why the, the family the family of the Muslim community are dysfunctional. Yeah, useless man and in a useless religion, spending all the time, wasting all the time in the mosque, and then leaving the woman, and they are oppressed. That's why this is a perpetual cycle. They can't they can't start a family. Yeah, and in that music video, in that music video, you will see this black kid touching the mirror, and then the mirror mirror broke, and that Muslim woman appear. Oh. And in Star Trek, there's this quote by this captain. The best, yes, we'll come to that. The best way to know yourself is to know others. And this is in third prophecy. It's all, all my four prophecies interlinked. Yeah. And and we almost come to the end of the music video. And I'm not gonna tell you who are these two police. They were pointing the gun at the at the black uh, kids and the Muslim woman. And what happened here? What happened in here? That's why I say go to COE. Because I know them all. We have this heckling. Or, 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 What's that term? The black versus the Muslim. Just like the music video. I know, I know them. I know them all. Yeah. The three, the Just like the music video. Kind of a thing. And why do you, why do you think Snoop? Why Snoop Dogg did this? It's a prophecy. Why Snoop Dogg did this? Buddhism. We are one, but we are many. We are all one. We are all connected. Look at all the mirror image of him. What did I always do? What did I always do? I always do this. I, I did that earlier. You, you talk about if I'm being Buddhist. Please. Yes. It's not a coincidence. Snoop Dogg did this. I did this. And Snoop, by the way, extra, a yeah, bonus. Snoop Dogg just released a new album talking about Christianity. Bible of Love, just recently. Yeah, yeah, seen, So seen, I cannot, yeah, yeah. I cannot plan this. He yeah. just only talked about this recently, yeah. Gospel album. Yeah, gospel album. So I'm here to tell my agenda. Oh, agenda. My agenda. Oh. People keep asking what's my agenda, seeking asylum and so on, bullshit, yeah. Yeah, alright, come on. This, this is get quite get again kind of real. This is my funding. It's Barcasa Hanover, Germany. It's from Germany. And guess what? It's a bank card. It's a bank card. And the whole bank has my name on it. Oh. Tan. <laughs> this cannot be coincidence. It's not. You think I'm, I'm, I'm joking? Yeah, I'm listening. Yeah? How, what other chance do you have a bank with your name? Especially an exact name, Tan. Nobody put that shit, man. Call Lloyd. And we, I, they even make an app for, with my name on it. 
You can use your phone to find the app now. That's push tan. Spakasa tan. Yeah? Spakasa tan. 